People often ask me, Kane, what's your bad habit? And to be honest, I can't really think of... Sorry. <clears throat> I can't really think... <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, that is... Mm. <laughs> Bless me. <laughs> sorry, where were we? Oh, yes. Let's see if today's family can conquer their bad habit and get it together. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the Get It Together Arena, a place where bad habits take centre stage. Today's family has been unearthed by our resident drill sergeant, who says this mission has been her most difficult to date. Let's welcome her back. Introducing our drill sergeant. Weighing in at around 5,306 marshmallows, she's longer than your average winter scarf, stronger than a piece of spaghetti, and is more brainy than next door's pet parrot. This pocket rocket puts the POW in powerhouse. Hey. Whoa. <laughs> That's quite an entrance. Kane, I'm feeling good. It's good to be alive. It certainly is. Can you tell us about the family that we're meeting today? I think you're missing one little word from that sentence. Oh, so uh, can you tell us about the family we're meeting today now? Don't make me make you drop and give me 20, OK? Manners, boy, quick smart. Well, I'm all out of 20s, so... I know you're looking for the word, please. I'm, I'm sorry. Can you please tell us about the family we're meeting today? Thought you'd never ask. Let's meet the Durdens. <laughs> meet Bowen, Rory, Oscar, and don't forget Mum, Kelly, and Dad, Toby. Although the Durdens are some of the loveliest people you may meet, their manners are often nowhere to be found. When it comes to manners, all of us could do with a little bit of work, don't you think? There's a lot of burping and a lot of slurping at our house. Uh... <sighs> Table manners go out the window at dinner time. Sometimes it's like being at the zoo. Toby and I aren't innocent either. <clears throat> I don't even know how to set the table properly. I want our manners to improve, so when we need to make a good first impression, we'll nail it. Don't worry, Durdens. Help is on the way. Let's bring in the Durdens. And there they are. Tell me straight away, who's the worst manners out of the entire family? Oh, straight to Oscar. Copped it straight away. Didn't even need to think about that. Set the scene at the Durden dinner table. What's it like? I'm the only one who tries to call, call the rules, so if they're sitting there with their elbows out like that, then I'll just call out wings, and so they have to pull their wings in and try and keep them by their sides. Dad, straight up, no joke. Drink carton, like milk or juice, goes to the fridge, drinks it. Not even a glass, just like... Straight out of the carton? Straight out. True. Do as I say, don't do as I do. <laughs> that's, that's very yeah. true. There's also a bit of farting at the table, I hear. Yeah, it's Mum. Oh. That's Mum. <laughs> oh. Interesting. Oh. Kelly. Hey. Yeah. So she'll sit down, be eating, and then she'll, like, lean a bit and then fart. <laughs> and then she'll be, like, sit back down and be like, Mum, was that just you? And she'll be like, no, it wasn't me. But, of course, and it smells like roses from your mum, right? Yeah. Sure, yep, let's say that. <laughs> it always gets blamed on me. To be but... fair, do you fart a lot? Yes. <laughs> Hands what I've eaten. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> trigger foods, <laughs> indeed. Would you like to know what your challenge is? Yes. 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 <laughs> let's take a look. It's time to mind your manners in our Royal Ramble. Your challenge is to host a royal visitor on a tour of the Botanic Gardens using perfect manners and royal etiquette. Your table manners, posture and the art of polite conversation will all be put to the test. If the princess has a lovely time, you've completed your challenge. But if she gets offended, this royal friendship will never be mended. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, polite conversation. I heard etiquette and thought, oh, we've failed. <laughs> OK, Bowen, there's a part in there where you have to create polite conversation with the princess. How do you think you're going to go? I don't know. How are the royal dogs going or <laughs> something? It's good. I mean, it is royals we're talking about here. It's royal etiquette. Any ideas what royal etiquette looks like? Like this, so you get, like, a tiny little thing for your teacup and go like this. <laughs> Now, also, Durdens, when you are mid-challenge, you may hear a little noise that sounds a little something like this. That can only mean one thing. 
It's a twist in the challenge, just to make it a little bit harder for you. So we thought we'd send along an etiquette expert to your house to put you through your paces with some training. OK, Durdens, we are ready to learn some manners? Yes. Yes, no one's going to talk over each other. No, no. one's going to inhale their food. <laughs> All right. All aboard the manners train. Toot, toot. Let's go. March, knees up. Throughout their challenge, the drill sergeant and our expert will be giving our family a score out of 10 on three different categories. Skill, creativity and teamwork. Their final score will determine where they sit on our leaderboard and the two highest scoring families will go head to head in our series finale. It's time to meet our expert. It's going to take someone with perfect manners and a strong stomach to stop the Durden's belching for long enough to impress a princess. Introducing etiquette expert, Zarif Hardy. Hi, my name is Zarif Hardy and I'm the director of the Australian School of Etiquette. Someone's manners and grace are extremely important when working on your first impression. So what are you expecting? I think she's going to be a bit tough. Tough? Yeah, probably etiquette. speak really nicely. Yes, well. Probably have to learn a proper way to eat a chip, you know? You well, you'll have to eat with your mouth closed. Yeah. <laughs> Three really important things to remember in relation to having good etiquette is number one, posture. Are you standing tall? Do you look like you're confident and polished? Two, your manners. Do you use please and thank you? And three, eye contact. So important when engaging in conversation. Uh, oh, I come on. The day. I think it's solid. Oh. Hello, Shishi. Go, Bowie. Here we go. Here we go. Hi. Hi, I'm Zareed. Hi, I'm Bowen. Bowen, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You guys can come in. Nice Hello, Drew Sergeant. You again, Bowen. Thank you. Zarif introduces herself to the Durdens and already she's noticed some things that don't quite meet her standards. Well, thank you for inviting me here today. One thing I'm certainly noticing at the moment is just how we're all kind of sitting. Have a look at these shoulders here at the moment. Let me see a bit of posture here. Smudging. <laughs> That's it. Bit of eye contact when we're talking to people. I think we've got a lot of work to do. Wow, Zarif is not mucking around. She's straight into work. The first thing the Durdens will be learning is how to give the perfect now, high five. The right hand, please. Nah, jokes, jokes. How to execute a proper web. handshake and a formal introduction. The web goes into the other person's web. Hand goes around nice and strong. Two or three shakes. And you always tell someone that you are pleased to meet them. Great to meet you. So let's start with Mum. Hi, I'm Zarif. Hi, I'm Kelly. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Kelly. Beautiful. Well done. Hi, I'm Zareep. Hi, I'm Toby. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Toby. Very nice. All right. Hi, I'm Zareep. Hi, I'm Oscar. How's it going? No, no, how's it going? Oscar. And can you please get that hat off your head right now? Let's try it again and know how's it going. Nice to meet you. Hi, how's it going? Oh. <laughs> Third time lucky? Hi, I'm Zareep. Hi, I'm Oscar. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Oscar. Nailed it. Good work. Oscar finally gets it, but it seems his informal greeting is contagious. Hi, I'm Zarif. Hi, Zarif. My name's Rory. How's it going? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Millie, Millie. One. So let's try it again. Hi, I'm Zarif. Hi, Zarif. My name's Rory. Nice to meet you, nice Rory. Nice to meet you. Well done, Rory, well done. but I think it's pronounced Zarif. Hi, I'm Zarif. Hi, I'm Bowen. Nice to meet you, nice Bowen. Nice to meet you too. Excellent. Now that we're all properly introduced, let's get to work on the Durden's posture. And there's no better way to learn than putting one of Zarif's books on top of your noggin. Shoulders back. Relax. Keep the chest out. That's better. Slow on the turn. Don't get the giggles. Stay focused. Good work. Very nice. The Durden's all seem to be doing things by the book. Unfortunately, Dad doesn't appear to be on the same page. Role modelling, Dad. Good. <laughs> My posture is going to need a lot more practice to get it ready for challenge day. The Durdens seem to be getting the hang of things, but how will they go when they think the cameras aren't rolling? It's undercover challenge time. 
One of our production team has conveniently arrived late to filming with a plate full of tasty cakes. Will the Durdens introduce themselves in the proper manner or will their manners go out the window when they spot those sweet treats? Hello. Hi. Mum, where's your handshake? I need one. Looks like a Harry Potter feast. <laughs> He's so cringe. He's like, yeah. Hello. What was your name? Bowen. Bowen. Hi. Hi. I'm Rory. <laughs> Rory? I'm, I'm Thank Toby. Thank you so much. Thank you, you Toby. Welcome. Well, the Durdens have all managed to remember their own names, but not the manners that Zarif has just taught them. Cat, is it? Yeah, Zarif. Zarif, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice yeah. to meet you as well. That's it, Zarif. You show them how it's done. Well, 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 Durdens. You've been busted because we were filming. That yeah, whole... I know. Bowen, if you knew that we were filming... Yes. And how come you didn't shake Kat's hand or introduce yourself? I was sitting down here. You are sitting down here? And I could not be bothered to stand up. Mum, what happened to your formal introduction? I was distracted by the cakes. I wasn't sure what I should do. I'm sure by the time we meet our royal, we'll have it all perfect. As soon as I saw those cakes, manners went out the window. I can't believe you tricked us. I knew there was something going on. I dropped my guard and I cannot let that happen on challenge day. The Durdens are quick to try and make amends for their poor etiquette. Let's see if they do any better at the dinner table. And on tonight's menu, it's how to have impeccable manners. Oh, and pumpkin soup. We imagine that this is a clock face. We scoop from 6 to 12 and up to the mouth. Rory seems to be getting to grips with things, but he's got a question that he really needs to let rip. Why don't you see if someone needs to let one go? OK. Opens up the lunchbox. What? It was a good question. Can we leave the table, please excuse me, and go and do it <laughs> somewhere? <laughs> There's a few key things that the Durdens are going to have to remember if they want to impress the princess at their high tea. OK, so on challenge day, you've got the lovely high tea, which will come on a high plated stand. We don't grab and clump with our whole hand. So we would pick up with our fingers and into the mouth, small bite. Really important for your challenge. You know, if the princess asks you a question and you've just put half a scone in your mouth, she doesn't really want to see all that dough mushing around. If a royal person finishes eating, then you must finish eating as well. So remember that for your challenge day. Boys, we need to keep practising every meal, breakfast, lunch and dinner between now and our challenge. And reminding each other, hands off the table, wings in, posture up. I'm going to nail this. <laughs> been a full day of training, so much to remember. Posture, manners, don't eat your mouth full, know how's it going. This is going to be tricky. Zarif has told us everything we need to know. We've got this. It's challenge day and our royal visitor has just landed. The Durdens have arrived on time and looking the part. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. hello. Welcome, Durdens. Today is the day of your royal ramble. For you, that means becoming designated tour guides of the Botanic Gardens, hosting a high tea and playing a game of croquet with a member of the Whitlovian royal family. So you all look exceptional. I'm so impressed. Well done, family. The last thing the Durdens need now is anything to make this challenge trickier. Yeah, that was a funny what sound. What that? That sound means it's time for your twist. Not only will you have to keep an eye on your etiquette, but you'll also have to keep an eye out for a naughty groundskeeper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goody. Mm. Be warned that this groundkeeper is hidden somewhere in the grounds and doesn't exactly have manners up to royal standards. So they may try to cause some mischief that could upset a princess. Ooh. I'll talk my way out of it. I know how you work this stuff. You'll talk your way out of it? Confidence is key, and now's the time to put everything into practice as here comes Princess Beatrice. Sixth in line to the throne of Whitlovia, Princess Beatrice will be expecting the very best from her Australian chaperones on her royal ramble. Will the Durdens remember everything Zarif has taught them and make a good first impression? 
Hello, my name's Bowen. Pleased to meet you, Rowan. My name is Beatrix. She's pretty intimidating. I didn't have to curtsy or shake her hand, so I did both. Now the curtsy. I think she likes me. Hi, I'm Oscar. Very nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you, Oscar. My name is Princess Beatrix. Not even one has it going. Suresh will be stoked. Hello, my name's Toby. The Durdens are off to a flying start, but how will they go when the family split up? Princess Beatrix, it's a pleasure to have you at the Royal Botanical Gardens today. Dad Bowen and Oscar will take the princess on a royal tour of the gardens whilst Mum and Rory prepare a high tea. This is going to be the ultimate test in the art of polite conversation. If the conversation ever starts... I can't think of anything to say. My mind has gone blank. If you don't mind me asking, what brings you to Melbourne? Ooh, good save, Dad. I go to Melbourne first and then um, Sydney. Yep. Um, uh, Adelaide. Ad Adelaide, yes. The capital. Yes. Nicely done, Oscar. Putting the princess at ease. What kind of plants is? These are a lot of succulents, so plants that can survive off little amounts of water, but then can also survive in hot sun. Good for the weather here. Mm -hmm. It's good. Pays attention in school. Doesn't he? It does, yeah. I'm pretty impressed you know so much about plants, Oscar. If we win, it's because of my succulent talk. The princess seems to be enjoying her walking tour so far. Let's see how Mum and Rory are getting on. Trained in the precise etiquette of table dressing, today the Durdens must get this spot on. All right, so sort out all the knives and forks. I'm going to sort out all the big forks and everything. So do you think you start off with the smallest and then have the largest ones in the middle? Um, I can't remember what goes where. It's too much pressure. We have to get this right, otherwise the princess will not be happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, no, little ones first, big ones like, oh my goodness. Mum, I think you've got two big ones. Oh, do I? Yeah. While they figure it out, let's see what's happening on the Royal Tour. And then... Actually, in. what is happening? Out, that's it. And this way, in, that's it. Very good. First time doing a bit low in dance moves. I'm not very good. This is traditional after dinner. You do this dance. It's only fair that we return the favour. It's time to teach the princess how to floss. Left. Left. Across. Across. Right. Right. No, then this through. is very hard. It is You're... hard. I don't even try. She's got some moves. Princess can floss. The princess appears to be having a great time, but for how long with a certain naughty groundskeeper around the corner? On the oh, signs. Excuse me, princess. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> I hope the princess doesn't think that was us. It's time to change the subject. Maybe it's time for lunch. Yes. Maybe barely rumbling. For sure. Let's go. We'll no, walk this way and we'll have some, some maybe have some tea. afternoon tea. Yeah. Mum and Rory complete their final touches just in time for tea. Everything is set and looking pretty good. I think the princess will be impressed. I hope everything's in the right spot. I think it is, though. Piece of cake. Welcome. As everyone sits down to eat, it looks like the Durdens are trying hard to remember their royal etiquette. Beautiful. Yeah, we've done that, isn't it? Especially not eating before the princess does. There are many small countries. Oh, those cakes are looking gnarly. I can't wait any longer. Come on, princess, I'm starving. Before. No, it's not all about winning, is it? Well, we have a... Finally! Now everyone can get stuck in. Uh-oh. Look who's back. Excuse me, princess. Was Luckily, Dad is fast on his feet to catch that pesky drill sergeant. Uh, I mean, groundskeeper. We'd just be grateful for a bit of space there. 
Yes. OK. Yes. Thank you. I was lucky. The princess didn't even notice the groundskeeper. All right, let's get this high tea back on track. <laughs> so far, so good. We're on to dessert without any burps or farts from the Durdens. The princess. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me, those bubbles. <laughs> really have done something. We are all in shock, and to think we'd been holding ours in. We are all trying so hard not to laugh. Nothing ends the day quite like a good game of croquet. And it turns out that Princess Beatrice is quite competitive. Oh, good shot, Princess. Well done, again. Princess. Go again, then, Princess. Strong good form day. from Dad. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's not golf, Oscar. Oh, no. No, I go again. Oh, no way. No, no way. way. <laughs> she cheated. She totally cheated. All right, all right. We'll let her off. She is a princess. And it's Princess Beatrice that takes the win. Oh. Yes, well done, what an end to an extremely well-mannered day. I thank you very, very much from the bottom of my Witlovian heart. But how will Zarif and our drill sergeant score the Durdens back in the arena of dreams? I think the princess had a good day. And then the burp was from her. I think we set the table right. Hopefully that doesn't lose us any points. We should score pretty high. There was no farts. I didn't even say, how's it going? Stand up straight and politely welcome into the no burping zone the mighty mannered Durden family, their expert Zarif, and the enigmatic drill sergeant. Durden, so how was your well mannered brush with royalty? It was good. It was intimidating at the start. Um, struggled a little bit to maintain the flow of conversation, but it was really good fun. Yeah. Do you think that your manners have improved at all? I think they definitely have improved a lot since the start. Like, before we came here, we was, like, burping, farting. But now it's been a lot better, thanks to Zarif and Drill Sergeant. Very polite. Well done. Did thanks. you rehearse that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Durdens, I'm about to drop a bit of a bombshell here. Princess Beatrice wasn't real royalty. <laughs> wow. No. What gave it away, Bowen? Well, we were trying to find out where Vitlovia was yeah. in his country. <laughs> Vitlovia. He wasn't coming up. The we were like, um, might have given it away. Yeah. <laughs> so where the is, is, so is, so is Vitlovia at? Uh, yeah, it's not in Europe at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, cue the dramatic music because it's time to reveal your scores. Zarif, Drill Sergeant, your final scores for the Durden family's skill. OK, Durden family, I was really impressed with the improvement in your skill set, particularly in your posture, your manners and your self-confidence. So I gave you a seven and a half. Ooh, let's go. Well done. Yay. Yes. 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 Some great skills used to diplomatically deter that cheeky gardener. So I'm giving you an eight. Oh, oh so that's good. Cool. That's half up. That's up. <laughs> Moving on to creativity now. Your final scores, please. I witnessed some creative problem solving in relation to your bowing and your handshake technique, so I gave you a 10. Hey. Hey. Let's go, kids. Oh, Based on Oscar's superb succulent knowledge and its creative use Me? in conversation with the Told princess, you I'd win. I've given you an 8. Yo. Yes. Yay. Another 8. Let's go. Well done. Well done, guys. And finally, arguably the most important of the three, it's teamwork. Well, to be honest, I was slightly concerned about challenge day. However, I realised I didn't need to be really concerned because you did a great job and I gave you eight and a half. Oh, yes. oh, number half. Number one. one word, Durdens. Bust, teamwork, improvement. That's three words, but you know what's not a word? The number eight, which is what I'm scoring you. Yo. Yay. Good. Yo. Well done. A streak of eights here. <laughs> well, thank you, Sarge, and thank you very much, Zarif. And Durdens, that brings your final score to... 50, which yes. moves you into a very strong position on our leaderboard. But let's see if it's strong enough to get you into our final. 
Oh, it looks like you've just fallen short, which means the Mel's and the Saouds will be going head to head in our grand finale. It's nothing to sneeze at, though, Durdens. That was a mighty effort. Tell us, how was the experience? Now, whenever we go to after a fancy restaurant, we'll know how to eat properly and act like royalty. Well, Durdens, thank you so much for being such great sports. And oop! <laughs> 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 Better out than in, I always say. <laughs> I mean, pardon me, sorry, it's just all of this etiquette excitement. <laughs> well, you know what else is exciting? The big finale! Next time we'll see the Saud and the Mel family go head to head to decide who is our series champion for Get It Together. Do not miss out. <laughs> we have definitely improved with our manners, all of us. Dinner time is now a lot quieter. Very nice to meet you. Thanks for coming. Bye. Mm -hmm.